They have another 10 minute tournament today on chess.com. So my rating went up to 1962. So I have to be real careful so I can push the 2200. You lose one game, that rating is gonna drop. So when I'm playing this, when, like when I play tournaments, I, play, I only play the Carol Khan or the Rui Lopez, unless someone um, does something like a Petrov or tries to, um, okay, he did the exchange variation. But I'm, so I'm gonna stick with the, either the Italian or the Rui Lopez or either the Carol Khan. I usually don't bring that white bishop out unless, um, okay, I might do it in this position. Well, if he wants to take that, that's on him. I usually don't bring the white bishop out, though. I may, I may end up having to close it in. Um, but I think I could bring it out in this position. But no, because he's constantly adding that pressure to. I'm gonna have to close it in there. Or well, I may just take. Then I can always open the. Bu no, I'm not gonna take until he moves his white bishop, though. Now he might push it, but I don't mind that. I just develop if he pushes it. I may take it. I may take it. I hate to take it when his white bishop isn't developed. Should I stop B5? Is B5 a problem? Oh, man. It's gonna be a tough game here. Now the question is, what do I wanna do with that pawn on C4? Now I take. I don't wanna take it unless I get the tempo. I'm not petty. Unless I get the tempo for him having to move that. That means he had to move that white bishop twice. Which gives me on the high level, that gives me a slight advantage. Or, or at least gives me, I, I like it. Okay, but now I need to play right. I wish I could, I wish I could do that with tempo. And I don't know why he went to that. Um, I'm gonna put this white bishop on B7. I don't know why he put his rook on the E file. That's not, unless he plans on pushing. So he plans on going D5 right now. Yep, he's gonna open it. Okay, he didn't go d5, which I don't mind because I have the bishop. I have two. I have. We both got a bishop pair, but I don't mind if the game opens. Um, my position is a little strange. Can't deny that. I see no um real role for a few of my pieces. It means my plan is balanced, especially for this knight on c6. Here he comes with the with the with the little garbage jokes. Let me just get some air for my king. Force him to make a small decision right now. Yeah, I'm sure he wouldn't have taken it. I wish I had something good to do with my knight, but I don't. I really just don't. I just develop. I need to speed up a little bit. I don't like being down on the clock. 30 seconds a minute, that means a lot. Double this coin in his rook. What can he do? He can jump his knight in the center. I take. He takes, I, I mean, come on. That's, that'll just trade everything down. That's his choice. But he can jump knight into e5. Good, good, good. I see him, I see him. I like that plan too. Let me get my rook on this file too. Maybe I'll get the other work on the D file. I'm still worried about that knight move. I'm surprised he hasn't made it. That's actually a strong move. That knight to E5. I wouldn't take it though. I would just scoot the king up. I, I might, I would, yeah. So that's not a strong, that's not the best move on the board to me. That gives me a good chance to just kinda liquidate this position because it's terrible for me. Let me get my queen out the way of that. I hate to have to underdevelop my dang queen. He doing too much though. What's up with this dude? Well, he's playing me tough. I'm at a high level now. I'm not, we, can, we about to cross the 2000 rating. That's you getting to master and grandmaster territory. So, um, these games won't be easy. You gotta, you gotta keep your grip. You gotta keep trusting yourself. And if if, if if all if all else fails, then those games fizzle down the draws. But don't force it and crack and just lose. If a person earned the draw, then they earned the draw. Most, a lot of, I think the majority, if not, it's got. I don't know the rating on that. No one has ever shared it with me. But 
I think there's, in the classical tournament, I think there's more draws than there are wins. On the highest level of chess, they have more draws, way more, than they actually have wins. Um, let's go. So you gotta be comfortable with that. You just can't think like, oh, I'm, I'm playing bad, I'm getting these draws. No, it's just, just find, make your lines better. Um, draw is draw isn't bad, especially with black. With white, I'm not too, it's not good practice to just draw a lot of games with white. But with black, it's not, in tournaments, drawing with black is a good thing. That's, it's high level tournaments, that's what they actually aim for. He's taking a long time, man. I hate when they take long like this. That's when I start losing. I know they plugging our game into an engine or something. The position isn't that hard to take this long. Especially the way he's been playing, at the speed he's been playing. So I'm like, okay, so are you plugging the games into an engine, sir? Okay, so I knew that one was coming. Of course, I have to take. He's going to take back with the pawn. I'm going to move the knight back. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna take. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna move the knight where he want. Where he thinks I'm gonna move it though. That's what's gonna throw him off a little bit. I'm not gonna trade queens either. I am gonna move the knight where he thought I was gonna move it. Stop playing with set. Take it. Take straight control of the center. Let him put his own pawn in front of himself. It's overextended. Um, it's it's not threatening nothing. I didn't mind going into this line. Liberates my position. It opens. It allows me more freedom. It allows me time. Now I can plan. Now there's no pieces hanging. There's no real tricks in the position that I see. It's time to play. Now what's the moves though? I'm ready to take that night. I'm ready to take that night and just break, just bust this pawn structure up and beat him like that. I don't think that's a win because he can build a fortress. Oh, we both got the same color bishops. That's a good thing. We both have the same color bishops. I haven't lost today, and I played about... I played like 10 times on Lee Chess and 10 times here. I had a few... I haven't had a draw on Chess.com yet. I had a few draws on Lee. Okay, so he's going to... Okay. Man, I wish I could do... Wish I could do something else. I just want to take the knight and just bust the pawn structure open. Yeah, we about to do that, sir. And I'm not just busting it open. I'm, 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 I'm hitting it twice. I'm going to hit his white bishop and I'm going to hit that pawn. Unless he takes it with the pawn now. Then that's just really busting it. That's just really, yeah. So I'm not really just trading for nothing. Um, I'm doing it to cripple this position and to make that move right there. So now he's got he's probably gotta push the A pawn and he just loses that C pawn. So I go into the end game up a pawn. Um up a lot of time. Wait a minute. No, I don't I'm about to say he can get out of that. No, I don't think he can. I, that, I just saw that as soon as he made that move. Although he can block me out, but no, I just bully him. I'll, I'll bully that I'll bully that pawn off the board. That's why I did it for. If not, I wouldn't have traded your pieces, Junior. I don't trade pieces for no reason. I need to see something in the future. That, that, that messed up his position and it gave me a pawn. In this tight game like this, that's the only way to save it to it's not a draw. S same color bishops isn't an easy draw either. Because opposite color bishops are easy draws because you can't attack the same squares, but with the same color bishop, you can defend yourself as well attack. Okay, so let's go take that. Of course, he's going to push the pawn. We're going to see what we do next here. Oh, he wants to trade rooks and double another pawn. Let's do it. Get my king into this game. I got six to six. No, six to five, huh? But my pawns are better. And I wish I can, um... Uh... This is actually not... Okay, I, I see the way to go. I see the way I gotta go. Let's see it now. Yep, it's the only road. 
Only road that leads to glory. Gotta start rolling these queenside pawn. Distract his king. Or either force him to give up the bishop. One of the two. Force him to give up the bishop or distract his king. And so I didn't want to push. I didn't want to go f6 and allow him to trade the pawn off because he has a white bishop. So I just keep pushing these bishops, distract his king, and just go over there and pick up those bishops on those dark squares. I mean, those pawns on those dark squares. That's why I left the pawn on e5. Instead of trying to challenge it, just keep going. My king gonna walk right in there. Now he has to start walking his king also. Okay, so he's gonna go that. He's gonna go that way. I don't blame you. I gotta stop. I may have to stop him from stepping over again. So I gotta trade the white bishop. So I'm up a pawn when he got a bad pawn structure. Let's see if he can get this. And that way I build a little gate against his king. He, may, he can move the white bishop back, but he's, he's not bringing that king over here that easily. Not under these conditions. Okay, he trades. Let me go protect this pawn. I think he thought that was a good move, but it wasn't. Now he's gonna have to step away from the pawn. He's got to, he's got to back up to B7. I mean, he's got to back up to B6. And I just scoot to B5. And A5, H5, I can't. Scoot to B4. What is B5? Okay, now he has to back up. So I must be able to walk this pawn down. F okay, he's, okay, so he's, um, he's, so he's running. He's going to get in a zoo swing. And that's one of my favorite chess words, actually. So I'm going to win this one. It's a word that means, uh, how long is this video? So I'm going to stop. I only want them to be 15 minutes, 10 minutes. I don't want y'all just sitting here for no half hour, hour watching a 10 minute game. Maybe if they was three minute games, but 10 minutes is kind of boring. All right, so now you got to move that king back. And this is a zoo swing because no matter where he moves the king, I'm going to step forward and he's going to be in a, just a bad position. He can't, oh, he can't keep my king out. So that's the, so it's just like, one thing he's going to go and I push the pawn again. He's gonna have to step, and I'm not, then I let him take it. And I just go wipe, that's the decoy pawn. Then I just go wipe out every pawn over here. So that was my decoy. So you might as well resign. Because everything over here is gone. Nothing you can do. Everything falls. But he's not gonna resign. Stay right here in case he tries to take that pawn. Oops. Now I just push that for a queen. That's it. Let him take whatever he wants. Look, all I need is a queen and a king to checkmate you. You know that, right? That's all I need on the board. Thank you. All right, y'all. Good games. I'm going to share this one. Okay, so this is part two to the drunken grandmaster twist quest to the master. What's our rating right now, man? Okay, my rating is 1981. How much, how much time did that take? See if I want to do another one. Is that, is that 50? Nah. Y'all want to do another one? I'm kind of tired. I don't want to try to do another one and lose. And these guys are lower rated. I got to I gotta wait till they put me in a higher rated tournament. If I'm tired and lose to one of them, I'm going to lose a lot of rating points. I don't want to do that, so I'm going to end that one. Um, so that's part two to the journey. Um... This goes on my main chess channel, but I also have another channel where I do my battle rap. I'll share, I share it on both, though. All right, peoples, good night.